Hello guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Shani. If you are just joining us, please kindly do well to like, share, and subscribe to Bliss Shani. And do not forget to give us a feedback. Breaking news. Peter Obi finally speaks on June 12th. Boldly tell Nigerians what to do. So guys, let's quickly hear the content of the report. Labour Party presidential candidate. The person of Peter Obi in the last general election has voiced strong concerns about Nigeria's democratic process claiming that the country has deteriorated into a state of classical state capture. The Labour Party presidential candidate said that Nigeria as a nation is seriously experiencing depreciation. This, he said, in a statement seen by nine news Nigerian paper to mark Nigerian Democracy Day celebration. Reflecting on the nation's 25 years journey toward democracy, Peter Obi questioned whether Nigeria has truly upheld democratic principles. According to him, why the transition in 1999 seemed promising, the country has since shifted into a system where governance benefits a select few, leading to widespread of deprivation to Nigerian citizens. Peter Obi stressed that true democracy should prioritize the welfare of its citizens, uphold their rights, ensure the laws are respected, and uphold leaders' accountability. Peter Obi further said in his words that the consequences of not being a true democracy have led to leadership failures that have resulted in uncontrolled systematic corruption, high level of insecurity, lack of freedom of speech, increasing poverty rates, and unprecedented levels of hunger and hardship which remained unresolved and are growing geometrically in Nigeria. He said true democracy should be people-oriented, where the rights of citizens are respected, the laws are obeyed, the leaders remain on account ac remain accountable to the people and people's welfare and care especially for the poor becomes paramount and high priorities of the leaders he said unfortunately the opposite is the case in our situation of Nigeria. To further illustrate that he will not truly, that we are not practicing truly democratic and have only produced the vice enumerated above. 
and that Nigeria as a nation are now ranks as follow. In the measurement of democracy, Nigeria have a democracy index score of 4.3, which ranks Nigeria as a nation very low on the global democracy index. He said, in the corruption perspective index, Nigeria is ranked 145th among the 180 countries. Measures showing a high level of corruption in Nigeria. He said in the rule of law measurement, Nigeria is ranked 120th out of 148 countries measured in the world. Justice projects rule of law index indicating that Nigeria suffers from gross disobedience to the rule of law. He said the 2024 World Press Freedom Index by reporters without borders describes Nigeria as one of the West African most dangerous and difficult countries for journalism. According to him, Nigeria rank 112th position out of 108 countries where journalists are regularly monitored, attacked, and arbitrarily arrested. And also that Nigeria is ranked 109th position out of 125th countries measured on the Global Hunger Index. However, in Peter's obese Democracy June 12 message, he advised that we should use this commemoration of June 12 as the occasion to return to truly democratic nation. That Nigeria achieved that feat on June 12, 1993, by collectively voting for democracy in Nigeria, that Nigeria must stand in defense of Nigeria's Democracy Day. So guys, how do you see to this matter? Please can you share your thought, your view on this on the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bliss Channel. Thank you and do have a nice day.